Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild! It has been a long time since I've recorded. Or maybe it just feels like that, because off-screen, in between episodes, has been the longest grind fest ever known to man. The longest grind fest in the series thus far, I think. Because last episode, we not only went to Tabontha Frontier, but we uncovered the fourth and final Great Fairy Fountain. Unless it's not the final, and... The internet has deceived me. That would be that would be kind of strange. But I, I think it's the final because she says that it's she's upgrading stuff to the max. And in between episodes, I have upgraded all of my gear up to four stars, with the exception of one piece of equipment, which I'll be getting to in a moment. <sighs> I even purchased the uh, the circlets and earrings. In the name of completing this game 100%, I've upgraded those fully, even though I don't need them, and I'll, I probably will never wear them for anything other than aesthetics. Alright, let's go through and, f and let, me <laughs> let me outline what I've learned, because I actually, this was quite a big learning experience for me, and I've, I've, uh, my eyes have been opened as to what the optimal build is in Breath of the Wild. So, the soldier's gear... Total, with the champion's tunic, I'm not counting this as part of the soldier's gear because this is just strictly better, gives us 88 defense. But this is not actually what I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the game. Also, I'm going to be bypassing all of this gear because the only thing it gave was additional defense, so what you see here is what you get. There's no secret set bonuses achievable at four, uh, at four stars. It's just high defense. That's all it is. So... Uh, I'm just going to be bypassing, I'm just going to be outlining the interesting things that I, I've found. I've also dyed some of my equipment, uh, so as to make it stand out a little bit better in my inventory. So, 88 defense, not that good. Here's why. We could just achieve 60 defense with this and get a 3-tiered attack bonus, but the problem is with that, in my quest to find the most optimal build, is that that can just be achieved with a, a potion. Whereas with this, you can just stack defense up and you're cool, but you're still only getting a potion's worth of stats. So, what is the optimal build? It's this. 84 defense, which means we're losing out on 4 defense from the, the other build, but that 4 defense is almost neg negligible when it's 4 defense out of 88, or 84 in this case. So, why is this the best thing in the game, even when we're not fighting Guardians? Well, oh boy, uh, I've done some math, and Ancient Proficiency, as I've explained before, gives us a 1.8 multiplier on all of our Guardian and Ancient weapons. As you can see, I've, uh, I've gone all in on the Ancient Weapon plan. So, 1.8. I've done some math. Uh, the base Lionel Crusher, we're going to compare it with the base Ancient Battle Axe. So, the base... Base Lionel Crusher has a power of 78. With a 3 tiered attack potion, it has a power of 117. Not counting this 98 gigantic Lionel Crusher, because the same could be achieved with this as well. So just base stats here. A 60 power axe with the ancient armor equipped gives us a power of 108. That is th exactly 30 higher than a base Lionel Crusher. Which is crazy. And with a three-tiered attack potion, which can also be stacked on top of the axe, which is why this set really shines, we get a power of 138 with a 60 power battle axe. That is insane. And that doesn't even go into sh go to show uh, how big of a, a stat boost these will get once I start finding things with attack up. Say this has power 80, we're soaring easily into like 160 range. Whereas this is at like 140, 150 something with a, uh, a three-tiered attack potion, it's still not coming close. So this is actually better. Uh, I've compared it with swords as well. A power 58 Lionel sword, because that is the base power of the weapon. Uh, with a three-tiered attack potion, it is 87. A 40 power sword with the armor is 72. With a three-tiered attack potion, it is 92. So that's just going well above and beyond the normal rate. Not to mention, not to mention, that Guardian Swords also get a 30% damage buff versus Ancient Enemies. So, we're soaring easily into 200 damage. And, the Ancient Weapon line gives a 50% damage buff. So, that's like 230 at this point. So, 
All in all, I found the ancient set is the best thing if we're fighting a boss and we're using attack potions. Otherwise, the best thing would probably be a Lionel sword with a uh, with my attack gear. But if I'm fighting a boss, this is w above and beyond the best thing in in the game thus far. There may be something that tops this. I don't know, but so far. This is the best armor set in the game, which is kind of crazy. It's actually really crazy, and I I'm pretty happy with it. So, what are we doing this episode now that I've gotten that out of the way? Uh, well, oh goodness. <laughs> it's been so long, since, or I've played so much off screen, it's kind of hard to remember what we were doing. Uh, but I do know that we haven't gone to the beginning of this canyon. So, I think we should go do that. We haven't- we've just been following the road, and as is our policy, we kind of- we go through the areas- uh, we go directly for the, uh, the tower first, and then we go explore other things. So now that we've done that, we can kind of do some backtracking, hopefully find some Korok seeds, hopefully find, uh, a, a shrine, and- and get that done. But- it really, it's, it's been such a weird learning experience doing this because we're to the point of the game where I'm having to do math. I'm having to do math to calculate what is the best build in the game. And it's, it's really surreal because it means Breath of the Wild is that solved for me. Oh, I probably, you know what, let's, let's show this off. Let's, let's show off the ancient, uh, build. The problem is with the ancient build as well, I have to find places in my inventory. So, yeah, uh, it, man, it's, it's really weird. We're, we've come really far, and there's a Korok right there. We've come really far to the point where I think this is the best armor and best build in the game. Weird choo-choo is weird, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're to the point where we're at the best armor in the game. We've upgraded something fully, uh, we're, we're rounding out the story. And I believe our Rito area is right over there. The Rito town is right over there. And so we're just, we're coming to an end. And I'm starting to wonder, like, what the end game is. What we're going to be doing. Whether or not we're going to finish the story out and then explore this area. Or explore this area, finish the story here, and then go to, to the castle. I don't, I don't really know what we're doing. I, I think... Well, I, I would, I definitely would want your input in the comment section. Like, what what you guys want me to do is what I'll do. But that being said, I think what I'm leaning towards is going, exploring this area, going to the Rito, uh, solving their their problem, killing the divine beast or whatever, taming it, and then heading to uh, the new area. And then after that, we head to Ganon's Tower. I'm just not sure at that point if we're kind of like if we're making some if we're breaking the tension basically uh, because it, it would be kind of weird being like okay we've gotten the final divine beast let's go kill Ganon but first let's go to this random mountain and go do stuff and stuff and that that would be kind of weird man look at it look at this Korok challenge this is like this is high tier right here <laughs> they they're amping up the difficulty in this area in this part of the game we, we have to drop four apples into the the basins. I'm not. I wasn't sure if I could do it. It took me like 40 tries in post, but you know what? I did it, and the they can't amp the difficulty up enough to stop me. Okay, where are we going? We're skirting the edge of this hillside. You know, I should probably just call. Wait, do I have aggro? I might. I have Hilda out. Of course I have Hilda out. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, hello. Shrine. That is the problem with, uh, with doing things off screen is I don't remember what we did because I'm doing stuff off screen, but I'm also editing the most recent episode. So it really befuddles me as to what I was doing or where I was going. Okay, we got a Korok. And I kind of suspected that there was going to be a shrine at the other end of the the gorge it just makes sense there's also there also seems to be a bunch of enemies oh moblins that's been a long time since we've seen a, a camp populated almost exclusively by moblins especially moblins that have what is that eight no seven bomb barrels next to them for some unforeseen reason 
And also, another Korok? Actually, actually, I don't think this is a Korok. Because, first of all, my mask is not going. But second of all... Ah! But second of all, it looked a little bit deeper than a Korok. The Ka Oreo Shrine. Please be a test of strength. Please be a test of strength. Please be a test of strength. I want to kill some things. Ah, not a test of strength. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Ka Okio, but I'm going to call you Oreo. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Wind guide, Ka Oreo shrine, with a chest right here, which I'm, you know what? I'm just going to wager that this is a Korok leaf. I'm just going to say it right now. Korok leaf. Yep, how'd I know? And my inventory's full. Uh, what do I throw away? Actually, before I, I do that, uh, I got the, I got this ancient sphere, spear for the first, I think the first time in the game. So, I want to take a look at this. It has, a, it's three-pronged, like, like a tie, not a tie fighter. There's a fighter in Star Wars that looks like this, and it, it's, it's a pretty cool spear. I just wonder how functional it'd be in real life. Okay, what are we dropping? Most useless item is probably this, sadly. This, if I'm using, like, a thing with the thing, I can't talk. Okay, uh, Korok Leaf. It's a wind puzzle. Don't close. Oh. You. And run through. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I'm scared. I'm real, I'm real scared. I don't want to hit it. It's going to blow me up. Uh, okay. I think I'm fine. Oh, actually, wait a minute. We have a, we have a trick. Yeah. Look at this. Advanced techniques. Frame data. New meta. Okay, what what are we doing with this, though? There's a guy down there. I don't really care about him right now. Actually, wait a minute. Question. Okay, there's a thing. Wait, there's a thing there. How do we... How are we supposed to get that? That's not metal. Uh... Wait a minute. Let, okay, let's let's use the this on this thing. That does. Oh, it makes a thing. Oh, it makes a thing for us. Okay. Please don't shoot me. Can I? Can I propel myself upward? Let's, let's see. Oh wait, did I, I knocked one off, didn't I? Ah! Ah! No! I was so close. I was so close. Okay, fine. I did want to. I did say I wanted to fight things, so I, I suppose I shouldn't complain. Okay, you die. You as well. Huh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's what I thought. Gonna d blow up and stuff. Okay, I almost. I almost did that. But now, die. Okay. Now, how do I get back up, is the question. Please don't lose a balloon. Okay, that worked. That worked. Man, I I would have been so proud if I had done that before with... Oh, cool. While balancing precariously, like a, a balancing act, which is exactly what it is. Okay. Yeah, go back. All right, throw ourselves over this way. Now, in case... I, I don't know if I've explained once again. I've <laughs> I, I've been doing a lot of off-screen things. Uh, if you try to throw something or shoot a sword beam or use a uh, Korok leaf, th there's a normal very lengthy delay to using the wind blast. But if you switch shields after every wind blast, it refreshes it. And it's a much stronger blast than just doing this. So the the end result is is going much faster or just abusing the system fairly handily. 
Okay, it looks like we're losing out on that weapon I dropped at the very beginning, which is really sad. Oh, hello. Uh, you, sir. Die. And, uh, that's all she wrote, especially because I can do this. Booyah! Okay, what's in here? A secret? A super Illuminati secret? Oh. Actually, no, I think this is where we're supposed to go, because th that thing was locked up there. So, I think this is actually where we're supposed to go. Uh, presumably... Oh, that's what that does. Okay. I was gonna say it was gonna make me a... A... Platform. But that's not quite what it did. Okay, now I'm up here. A forest dweller sword. No, thank you. No, thanks. I'll, I will pass on that one. Okay, what is here? Nothing. Just a ladder. Another ladder. Man, this is this is one of the biggest shrines we've ever done, I think. Just, it's... It's very massive. Okay, climb down. Blow it up. Oh, there's an updraft. Yes, thank you. I saw that. I saw it with my own eyes. There's nothing down here. Just fly up. And we're up here. It's stuff. Uh, but my question is, what what does that do? What what does this do? That I mean, obviously it knocks us up, but what was the purpose of that? I do not know. Maybe it's to get back at the beginning, but if so, that's kind of a weird way of of doing that. Okay, let's let's move on. This oh, uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, it just does that. Okay. Uh huh. Uh let's let's go for the chest first. Because I don't want to deal with spikes. Okay. We're over here. Just get the chest. Hopefully it won't won't go into the spikes. Giant ancient core? That's pretty good. Oh boy. Oh uh, no. Ah, uh, don't go there. Ah, uh, where are you going? I should have jumped on it. Going this way. Don't pop. Please don't pop. Okay. Now go this way. Go that way. I'm going to have to make a running jump on this one. Uh, no, I got plucked by a balloon. Oh, pull it back, pull it back. And I'm in. Oh. And now it pops. Whew, that was... That was an adventure. That was certainly an adventure. Uh, what does this do? It does that. Okay. Whoa, that looks fun. Okay, I'm, lo I'm really looking forward to blowing that up. There goes our balloon. Man, have you ever wondered how high balloons go before they, they pop? It's like one of my... My childhood... My childhood quandaries. It was like philosophy, but for children... Wait a minute. I don't think I need to be heading this way. Let's just go back. Man, this is this is such a big shrine. It's still going. And this does what? What? what wait. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay. So what this does is we can propel it over there. I mean, we can achieve the same exact thing with just a, a bomb arrow, but I, I'm a fan of doing it how they want me to do it. So, let's just shoot this over there, and the goal... Bring it that way. Yeah, there, that works. The goal, I think, is to charge up as much as we possibly can and send it flying over there. So let's try to get it stop to stop moving. I did not mean to do that. Okay. That should cancel it out. And now we just have to aim right at one of the the torches. Okay. And go. Okay, and go. And Oh, come on. Go! 
Oh, it's going. It's going. Oh, don't. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, come on. It's so close. Oh, wait, wait. It's still moving. It's still moving. Go! Come on. Go! Oh, there it goes! Ho oh, ho! Oh, that was, that was satisfying. That was very satisfying. Okay. Now, my question is, could we have just solved that by looking up when we were in here and shooting straight up? I think so. But I, I think the end result of doing what they wanted us to do is it's much more satisfying. They're one of the biggest shrines in the game. We get our small key. One of the biggest shrines in the game solved in a, in a very big fashion as well. And we don't, it, they're, that, they're that elaborate that we don't have to even go back the normal method. They gave us a special way to go back, which gets this. I don't remember this. I didn't see this. Gives us, a, oh, oh, wow. That is, that's really considerate because then what we get to do, because we don't need a Korok leaf, this is their way of making up for whatever weapon we drop by giving us a, a thunder spear. I, I, this was a great shrine. Okay, let's, let's go. Huge shrine, too. It, it felt almost like, like, uh, one of the, the trials, like the tests of strength. Wait a minute. Okay, we've seen that room before. All right, I'll see you on the other side. But is there anything? No, that's not really land. That's just a slope. Oh, boy, did not mean to fall down there. Let's just go back up. And let's, uh, let's not. Let's not touch the butt today. Don't. <laughs> don't flame me for that reference. Okay, so we're heading this way. I don't really care about clearing out. Oh, hello. <sighs> how, how much time is in the night? We we do need to go back to Satori. Because that, that is a loose end. Uh, and we have a thing. We have a... Okay, I'm just going to jump down here real quick. Yeah, we have been here. So, wait a minute. Oh yeah, we've we've actually been here before. Moglaton Shrine. We still have some some time in the night left, so I believe the glow. Oh, uh, let's see where where I need to go this way. Yeah, I need to go this way. The glow should just be on the other side of this this outcropping of rock. Oh wait, oh there's a a Dudica. Uh, I don't really care. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what to expect here. I really don't. So let's uh, let's equip my gear and equip my sword because I have no clue what this is about. Whoa, boy. Uh, is are the bloopies gonna get revenge? Can I shoot them? I can. Is this just? Oh. Oh. Oh, whoa, what is this? No! No! What was that? What was that? If Were we supposed to shoot it? Oh, 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 it's back. It's back. Okay, well, clearly... Clearly, fighting is not what we're supposed to do. What on earth? Lord of the Mountain. That is, that is gorgeous. Is this like the Lord of the Blue Piece? Hello? Hello? Can I ride you? Oh, I'm supposed to tame it. Do I have enough stamina? Oh, this is taking a lot of stamina. Whoa, it took, it took all my bars of stamina. Also, that is creepy. That is... This maliciously creepy. With the music, everything. Okay. What is this? Five stars. Um. Oh. Oh, that immediately refilled. Uh, let's see. What's the easiest path down off the mountain? Would it be through? I think it's through here. So, it's an unlimited stamina steed? 
Uh, no, 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 stop. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to take you down off the mountain. I don't know how to do that. Okay, I barely managed to get it down the side of the mountain. And so now let's see what having unlimited stamina is really like. <laughs> I feel kind of mean for beating this thing, but also we're fast. This this feels much faster. Here, let's mark it. Put a marker there. And yeah, that's pretty fast. Uh, I don't know how that really compares to other, other animals or what that test really did, but we're pretty fast. Uh... And we have the Lord of the Mountain, I guess. And the glow is still there, oddly. You'd think the glow would follow us because it's it's the Lord that's making, the Lord of the Mountain that's making the glow, but apparently not. Apparently it's this giant, or I guess it's not giant, this, this normal sized blue thing that is strangely sphinx-like. You'd th it's strangely sphinx and bug-like because it has four eyes and it has antennae, which, You'd think you'd be riding a giant bloopy, but that's not how it ended up playing out. Okay, well, let's let's go back to the stable. And I, I think I'm going to show this, too, just because I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to board this, in which case we're not going to be riding it forever. We're probably just going to be warping back to the main area. And, man, this, I, okay, I'm sorry, but you'd think if you were a ghosty horse, you would be able to ghosty horse your powers through trees. How do you, how do you like my steed? Uh, Looks like you caught yourself a new steed. You want to register it? Oh, please, yes. Understood. Uh, what, what is that? Can that thing you're riding be the fabled Lord of the Mountain? What, in why in Hylia's name would you bring something like that here? We're, we'll all be cursed. Oh, come on. It's just a demon horse that it has demon-y powers from demons. Will you follow me if I whistle? No, you don't care. Well, you know what? Uh, Self-portrait. I do care. No! No! Demon horse. Man. Uh, but, 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 but demon horse. Oh well. Uh well it was a it was a pleasure to ride you, sir. Goodbye. Hopefully that wasn't a one-shot occurrence though, because I would like to be able to go back to Satori Mountain and ride the Lord of the Mountain again. It's enjoyable to have an unlimited stamina horse with five spurs and is really fast and is also supernaturally creepy. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there is some place you would like to see me go to or something you would like to see me do, post it in the comments and I'll try to get around to it. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. New episodes of Breath of the Wild are released every Monday and Wednesday. Now, if you're wondering why this episode is has so much time remaining, that is probably because I have a very long end slate of Korok seeds to get through. I think I've gotten around 30 or 40 before this episode began. I spent three hours collecting them, and they are all located in the end slate. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the Koroks, here they are. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.
Torched out. And this is cool. This is so cool. I feel like I'm Nathan Drake. Okay, where are the. Oh boy. I was gonna say, where are the, the blue zombies that like absorb the, the magical sap? But no sooner had I said that than blue things made of sap appeared. So that's, that's kind of creepy how apt that was. So I'm just gonna go, go into the shrine as quickly as possible. <laughs> 